I think we live in a very confusing world. It's full of noise, uh, images, busyness, very many different stimuli. And it's especially confusing for people who may find uh, words difficult to understand and uh, perhaps take longer uh, to digest information um, and to basically understand what's going on. Books Beyond Words are picture books in colour uh, designed for people with learning disabilities and communication disabilities. Um, they're aimed at people who find words difficult and who may find pictures easier than words. And they're designed as a, a communication tool, um, as a way of um, helping people to understand things which might be difficult to understand in words for them. They are mainly used by people with learning disabilities, usually with a supporter, um, a friend, a relative, a professional. Books Beyond Words can really help a professional, uh, whether a health or criminal justice professional, to be able to communicate more clearly and easily with somebody with a learning disability. Um, having the pictures as a tool for engagement can make the, the interview just that much easier, um, both as a way of sharing information, as a way of understanding uh, what is going on in the mind of the person they're trying to communicate with, but also just simply as a, as a way of engaging uh, the interest and cooperation of the person that they're with. I teach medical students about people with learning dis disabilities. I suggest using the Books Beyond Words series that cover a lot everyday aspects of life and every su everyday subjects from getting married all the way through to being mugged. The Books Beyond Words books can really be um, a wonderful thing to use with people with learning disabilities. Um, because they don't have words, the words aren't the most important thing about the books. The most important thing is that the whole page is a picture, that the pictures tell a story. Um, in my experience, people feel so much more comfortable with these books than books with words. So much so that they can actually take ownership of taking that book and telling you the story. It's bold and it's colourful and that's what I like about it. When we're able to use the books beyond words, it then becomes a two-way conversation with the patient. So we can show them the pictures of what's going to happen we can talk them through it, we can ask them what they understand by what they see and how that makes them feel, um, whether it makes them feel scared or whether it makes them feel anxious. And so we can explore those feelings with them and then try to reassure them about any of the anxieties that they may be having, but also clarify any of the things that may be going to happen that they don't fully understand. What can you see? What, what's this? Needle. So what do you think is going to happen? Can you remember? You're going to clean it first. Yep. You're going to put the band on. That's right. You're going to put the needle in. And what part of the needle? The tip. That's right. So you've got a problem to solve. Somebody who doesn't understand what's going to happen and it's your task to introduce them to the situation. Perhaps they're already feeling a little bit anxious. Um, so you show them some pictures they understand better, you reassure them because you understand better what they're worried about, and the whole uh, event, procedure, experience proceeds more happily. It's a, a penny-dropping moment both for you um, and for the person themselves. You perhaps because you understand the power of pictures to explain, and for them because a new experience has been opened up to them and they feel better, better prepared, better able to cope with it. <laughs>